I see you in there. So the computer has gone through quite a few changes as of late. Uh, I did one video when I put the hard drives and stuff in it, because uh, I did that after the original This Is Nasty video. Well, it's still a nasty looking piece of shit, but it's got some pretty epic guts in it now. It's got a 2600K running at 4.5 gigahertz, I think. 4.1, 4.5, something like that. A uh, Corsair H60 all-in-one liquid cooler. 16 gigs of some kind of RAM. I don't remember what. Uh, what else? A solid state drive for the boot drive. 128 gig Kingston. And it uh, it's always full. Always. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Windows for you, right? I put those spinners in, the, the hard drives, for storage because I kept running out of storage. I had a a little laptop hard drive that was like 750 gigs, I think, something like that. And I had a uh, one terabyte, just regular desktop hard drive. And I had some other random hard drive in there. And those bitches were always fucking full. Always. So I put in the uh, four three terabyte drives. So I have like 12 terabytes now. Um, when I did that, I put one in. I copied all the junk from the two smaller drives, the 750. And I think I had like a 250 or some bullshit in there. Copied all the bullshit from those, put it on that drive, ripped those bitches out, and put the other um, hard drives in there. <clears throat> uh, on the four, the four three terabyte drives, I'm running uh, Flex Raid for a little bit of uh, redundancy. It's pretty cool. Doesn't do quite what I want it to do, but it works. Gets the job done. Very cool. Uh, check out my other video on it if you ever want to see that. I'll put it over here somewhere. So I, when I originally built the machine, I built it as a music recording machine. You know, no graphics card. It was just for doing music stuff. Um, eventually, I found out how much better gaming on a desktop is versus a laptop. So I decided, okay, I'll put a graphics card in it. I put a 560 Ti off Craigslist. I got paid like 80 bucks for it or some bullshit. That was the first card I had in it. Worked fine. You know, wasn't anything crazy. Sold that. I think I made like 10 bucks on that, actually. And uh, put in a GTX 960, which is what I had until just recently. The uh, The 960 was a great card. It's for sale now, actually. It's in a box over there. <laughs> but uh, great card. Worked very well. If you're doing 1080p gaming, you don't really need anything other than a, than a 960. But the... Uh, I, I am upgrading with a purpose, because I might have ordered a Vive last night. But to run that, you got to have some serious firepower, and I knew that. I knew a 960 was not up to snuff for running a running VR, so I got a 980. <laughs> this is the time to upgrade. I got a GTX 980 for less than what a new 970 would cost off Craigslist. Because the 1080 and 1070 are out now, kind of, uh, good luck getting your hands on them, it's a little tough, sort of. Because those are out now, the prices on normal graphics cards, you know, the older ones, are just completely in the toilet. <laughs> it's awesome. So you can get a 970 for probably 150 bucks, 200 bucks maybe, and you can get a, I actually saw a dual um, Strix 970 the Strix cards are badass. Uh, dual Strix cards set up yesterday for sale on Craigslist for 300 bucks, which is kind of ridiculous. Frame rate for days. But I got the 980 for less than a new 970 would cost. And that's pretty crazy because this card's like 500 some odd dollars new. I didn't pay anywhere near that. So if you're, if you're thinking about upgrading, do it. <laughs> it's awesome. Hop on Craigslist. If anyone's asking... Uh, let's see, because they do, they ask stupid ass prices. If anyone's asking more than 300 bucks for a 980, they're, they're fucking smoking herb. Uh, 980 Ti, you, you should be able to get for three, 350, somewhere around there. And the reason I say that is because the 1070, 
is just as fast in stock trim, not even overclocked, as a 980 Ti. Don't listen to what other people tell you. It's fucking true. The people trying to sell you shit, they'll... It's not that fast. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Well, don't listen to the benchmarks like one guy told me. I was like... I sent him a video and was just like, here, shut up. You know, <laughs> go away. Try, he was trying to get like $500 for his 980 Ti. I was like, the hell out of here with that. Anyway, 350 for a Ti, uh, less than 300 for a 980, and 970s are under 200 bucks. Uh, when the 1070 is actually available, I'll get one, because it is better for VR. And it's a killer card anyway, especially for the money. I mean, they're 380 bucks. It's it's ridiculous. That's why people are trying to get four, 450 bucks for their 980s and 980 Ti's and all that bullshit. You're out of your mind. It ain't gonna happen. Well, it shouldn't happen. I'm sure people buy them, but don't. Don't be that guy. <laughs> don't do it. Uh, talk them down. Uh, should be, for a 980 Ti, 350 ish is a is a really good price, which considering they're like damn near 700 bucks some of them, new that who, that's a that's some depreciation for you. But yeah, want to give an update on on the nasty. Uh, got some really cool stuff coming up here. Uh, I got game stream to work in 4K. Uh, yes, I did, and uh, that should be really interesting. I uh, do have to do some some tweaking and finagling with it once I get it kind of figured out and like running smoother because I did get it to work but it was running kind of I think the refresh rate that the graphics card was trying to send was different than what the TV is trying to send or something I don't I don't know it was looking a little bit choppy but I might actually crank it down to 2K because I don't have a 4K monitor but I have a 4K TV so instead of up upscaling to um, 4K on the TV from 1080p I might upscale from uh, Ultra HD, or uh, the, not 4K, but 2K, whatever the hell they call it, Ultra HD or Quad HD, whatever, um, because that'll at least look better, but I'll still get the performance that's that's good. I think I was pulling like, uh, at 4K, I think I was getting like 30 frames per second on the TV, which is good. I mean, it's not great, but it's good enough. So I think I might actually kick it down a notch, because then it'll still look better on the TV, but it'll, it'll play better. Anyway, I will do a video on how to do that. That's kind of a new-ish feature in the game stream software. Uh, I think they enabled it in, like, February, I think. I didn't hear anything about it. I just Googled it yesterday because now I have a card that can push it. I was like, hmm, wonder if I can do that. Well, you can. Uh, it's a little bit janky, the setup. you got to kind of go in and, and convince it to do what you want it to do. But it does work. So I'll get that dialed in and make a video for you guys. Um... Lots of Vive footage will be coming up soon. Uh, all my buddies want to try this shit. I'm going to put my wife on the uh, on the zombie game, and <laughs> it's just so damn funny. So if you guys have anything you want to see, let me know. Um, I know these things are pretty damn expensive, so many of you may or may not have them. You may not have the computer that can run them. If you have any questions or anything like that about them, let me know, because it'll be here next week. So in the meantime... Like, share, subscribe, a lot of happy horse shit, you know the drill, yeah bye.